Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's video is going to be about genetics and application of rule of probability and here is a problem if a family has three children and two questions. Question A. What is the probability that all three children in a family will be the same gender? And uh, question B. What is the probability that three child family is two girls and one boy? As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve each uh, question on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So let's start from the first question. We have uh, three children in a family. So let me use uh, empty box that would represent one child. So we have three children in a family and uh, each child can be whether a boy or a girl. So how many uh, variants we have here, how many combinations. So we may have whether a boy or a girl for the first child, so two variants here. We also may have uh, next child be whether boy or girl, so two variants here. And the last child also can be whether boy or girl, so also two variants here because this all independent probabilities, total number of combinations would equal to 8. So uh, one of these uh, combinations, so total number of combinations 8, one of these combinations can be when the first child would be a girl, the second child would be a girl, and the third child would be a girl. So. Uh, such combination would uh, represent one eighth. Another combination can be when the first child would be a boy, second child would be a boy, and the third child also would be a boy, and this represents one eighth also. Uh, the other way how we can solve this problem. We may say that probability that the first child would be a girl would be one half. So we can put uh, this number here. Probability that the second child also would be a girl would be one half. One out, one out of two combinations would uh, give us a girl. And uh, the probability that the third child would be a girl also would be one half. When we multiply all these numbers, we are going to get one eighth, and the same rule is applicable here. Uh, every time this family would have uh, a child, this is going to be independent probability because uh, the following child gender is not dependent on uh, gender of the previous child. So uh, now, uh, in order to give an answer to this question. We have to combine these two independent probabilities. So one eighth probability that all three children would be girls plus one eighth probability that all three children would be boys. This gives us two out of eight or one quarter. Or we also can say that uh, probability in a family of three children to have children uh, all three children of the same gender would be 25%. So this is going to be our answer for the first question. And as for the second question, what is the probability that a three child family is two girls and one boy? So let's find how many combinations we have when we have um, two girls and one boy. The first variant would be when we would have girl, girl and a boy. The second variant would be girl, boy and a girl. And the third variant would be boy, girl and girl. So as you see, total number of combinations 8 and out of this eight combinations, three would be when we would have two girls and one boy. So this also true for the uh, other combination when we would have 
uh, two boys and one girl so boy boy and a girl boy girl boy and girl boy and boy so once again three out of eight uh, in a family of three children would be two boys and one girl so two boys plus one girl and this is combination two girls plus one boy so let's now uh, add all these probabilities so one eighth that all three children would be girls one eighth plus one eighth that uh, all three children would be boys this is one eighth uh, plus uh, three eighths that uh, probability that um, this family would have two girls and one boy and also three eighths probability that uh, this family would have two boys and one girl now we have to add all these three probabilities and as you see we are going to get eight over eight or one or one hundred percent so uh, as you see all the calculations are very simple and clear and our answer for the second question would be three eights and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video Please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.